What's up, Samurai? We are back in the board. And today we're going to be doing the 45k video for your boy, The Revenant. I'm still in the process of getting my set of magical gems so that I can end up having 45k videos of the magic classes. We're getting there, but we're not quite there yet. Now, uh, I do want to mention that in order to hit 45k PR, I am using a Shadow Hunter ring. Now, that shouldn't really matter too much because looking at the different passive abilities that we can end up having with the Crystal Ring for the Revenant, Speed Spears makes it so that Spirit Spears no longer slows down the Revenant. This would probably end up being the best hidden ring effect possible just because movement speed is going to end up being an issue with this class as you'll see momentarily. Spirit Squad, so Spirit Storm summons a group of tiny spirit wraiths. That, I would suggest, is going to be better for bosses and dealing damage, which more than likely is where the Revenant would end up sitting on the spectrum of either speed or boss fighting. And then Vengeful Storm makes it so that when you're at low health, your ultimate will end up triggering automatically, but it says that it has a long cooldown. I don't know how long that cooldown is, but if it says it's long in the description, that means it's probably going to be quite long. So what we're going to be doing today, let me get my timer ready. We're going to end up going into U11. I'm going to be kind of explaining to you guys and gals uh, what the strong and weak points of this class are uh, as we end up doing five minutes worth of dungeons so you can see a real world example of just how powerful or weak the class could end up being, which Revenant's actually quite powerful. Uh, and then we'll end up hopping into the Delves. Uh, I also want to mention, I hope that my sound setup and everything is good. I've been going through a lot of changes. Uh, I kind of have my soundproofing up, so it should sound a lot better to you guys, but there's going to be just an inher inherent uh, reverb or echo that I just can't really get rid of because I'm in a smaller room with my recording st studio. But on top of all of that, I've also adjusted a lot of my microphone settings. So I'm not going to know until I get into editing whether or not it's actually like reasonable or if it's clipping the whole freaking time. Yeah. Uh, also, we are going to end up actually swapping off of the Knight subclass ability and using your boy Solarian just because of that extra light value. Uh, I would like to have the consistent movement speed from having the Knight subclass ability, but as you'll notice, we actually have over that. So because of the skill tree that is in the game, which is on the Nintendo Switch now, by the way, you actually get a lot of additional movement speed and so much so to the point that we are actually above mount movement speed even with the subclass of the knight because the subclass of the knight can only make your mount movement speed up to 125 at the maximum because there's some type of an issue with the code uh, that the devs didn't end up fixing where it's supposed to count 35k 40k and so on and so forth right but it doesn't actually do that it still only counts the mount movement speed up to 30k pr which is kind of stupid but at the very least it does mean that your boy revenant and many many other classes so long as you have the movement speed in the skill tree well there you go so let's start the timer and let's get into it the other thing to keep in mind uh oh i'm not using volatile bounder the other thing to keep in mind is that the uh like while movement speed is going to end up being a very big thing that you're going to get out of the skill tree, you got to consider that the Revenant actually has a lot of survivability in the first place. Like it's actually a very, very tanky class because it has an inherent lifesteal ability on all of its attacks, right? Now, the funny thing is that in the skill tree, you can actually get another additional ability that will also give you lifesteal. So... I think it's safe to say that we are probably invincible as this class now. So the funny thing is that a lot of classes that have faster attack speed are actually like really, really like you have insane survivability on Shadow Hunter, Tomb Raider, and stuff. You kind of already did anyways, but now especially because we've got that life steal ability, it just made it like even more crazy. But now we also have that additional life steal for the revenant so i'd say it's pretty safe to say this is probably one of the tankiest classes in the game right now so at the very least that's something that you can say you know that the class has is insane survivability i you know i think tomb raiser is probably better just because Tomb Raider has a constant outstream of damage and your number one ability with Tomb Raider Banshee Spoon does give you 90% damage reduction and you can basically just spam that ability. So that kind of uh, 
saves you from any little bits of damage that you might end up receiving from bosses and enemies. But my point is that even though I'm using death defying just because force of habit, you know, I'm a creature of habit. I don't really care about changing it or worrying about like uh, changing my flask or anything. But it's more advisable to you if you're at this super end game point that you would not end up using death defying. You would probably end up using Conjurer's Vial or something that uh, is going to ultimately give you back flasks so that you would end up having uh, a longer output of being able to deal with dungeons and enemies and stuff because, of course, the only problem with endgame farming is usually you just eventually run out of flasks and then you got to go and restock, which isn't really much of a problem, but it's just a little discrepancy that you end up running into, right? Now, you'll notice that I'm only ever using the two abilities on the Revenant, which is going to end up being our number one ability, Spirit Spears, which is just going to be a constant output of damage, and then our base attack. So when the Revenant ended up getting a rework, I think it was like a year or two ago now, uh, they changed it so that the way that the class works, uh, essentially our bulwark bash or whatever, like the shield bash, that ability sucks, it's useless. It never really did anything, but back in the day you used to just right click like this over and over, but this is actually the highest output of damage that we can do with the Revenant right now, is just having our spears go out at the same time that we're spamming our base attack. And so what you're focusing on with this class is you're going to be trying your best to have not only good movement speed on all of your gear, but attack speed. Attack speed is going to be insanely important now for your output of damage. And if we really needed to, we could end up popping the ult, pop a flask, and you can see we're just doing devastating, devastating amounts of damage with this character. Not like, to say that it's going to necessarily turn any heads to some of the other end game classes because every class at the end game deals a huge amount of damage but i would say that the huge positive of the class is that survivability you can see like i'm only using flask for buffs i have not needed to use a flask to heal because we are just not only super duper tanky to begin with because we're the revenant but also now that we have that life steal on our skill tree, which is crazy to think. Like this is without flask, we're doing like four, I see like five mil, then I use a flask and I think I saw 15? I could be mistaken. Obviously there's other characters like Shadowhunter just deals that like in droves. Uh, and so that's where, okay, the question is, where does the character fit in the spectrum? Because the trove is basically broken down into a speed farming class or a damage dealing class. Now, Revenant doesn't do either or particularly well, but I would say that it does lean more towards dealing damage. Like, you can end up dealing quite a lot of damage if, uh, you know, if the enemies end up... Stop screwing around. You can deal a lot of damage with the Revenant if you're actually, like, trying to. Like, right now, I'm kind of just... For farming, you're trying to deal with survivability and length of time that you can end up grinding, right? But speed farming, you know, the funny thing is that Revenant, I wouldn't really say is a particularly good speed farmer. Uh, if I was using Flask, obviously I could get through these dungeons super duper quick. But the thing is that the movement speed of the class, its base value is not very high. So we kind of have to compensate very heavily with having movement speed gear and hopefully all of the movement speed abilities on the skill tree. In which case, you can see, the class is perfectly comparable to others. You can end up maining the class no problem and still end up doing speed farming as well as delves and dungeons. Sorry, delves and dungeons bosses is, is what I meant, like bosses, leviathans and stuff like that. Uh, I do think that Revenant would be able to survive a leviathan, but I don't know if you would be able to output enough damage to solo it, for example, you know? Now, we're just going into depth 130 uh, or 136, which arguably is not very good, you know? Unfortunately, it's just not going to end up being super duper difficult to end up dealing with this dungeon. Um, you know, this delve is considerably easy now that we're like so ultra powerful, but the real bottom line is that I just don't really have the time and I don't want to, you know, spend like hours and hours trying to end up getting to like depths 140, 150 or whatever, just to end up showing you guys a comparable set of damage. Now, the thing is, I can already show you just from this example 
how we're going to end up handling this area, in which case we're fine. Uh, the only thing that I would say is kind of lacking right now is the fact that we don't have the uh, Spirit Spears hidden ring effect because that is really hurting my movement speed when we're in here. And other than that, you know, we can see that we're our damage is perfectly fine. And as far as just dealing with the delves in general, we've got such insane survivability. It's no question you'd be able to handle really high depths. Now, would you end up dealing enough damage that would be comparable to, say, something like the Ice Sage or some of the other more powerful characters in the deep delves? No, probably not. A lot of end gamers might actually frown upon you being a Revenant. But personally, I think you would be perfectly fine. Like if the group isn't trying to be super duper optimized, I think that you could end up using the Revenant just fine. And generally speaking, I think Revenant is a lot more powerful than most people give credit. Like I've heard from multiple sources as well that Revenant is actually a secret powerhouse, which you can kind of already see. So anyways, let's do the boss itself. So let me also make sure yeah, okay, so I'm using all the proper stuff, I suppose, right? So we're going to end up using our number one, using our flask, hitting them with our ult, and spamming our number one, and spamming our flask at the same time. And you can see our damage, like, we're melting them, right? Just so long as I keep using my flask, we're doing fine. It's a lot more powerful than some of the era characters that we've highlighted in these types of videos. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today. So in summary... Do I think that the Revenant is a class that you can main? Yes, most definitely. You can main it for both categories. Uh, however, you got to consider why is the boss health bar still at the top? That's weird. You do got to keep in mind that the Revenant is not going to end up being the best for speed farming. You can use it for speed farming only if you really have like those high skill tree abilities of movement speed. That really, really makes a difference. And then as far as survivability, Revenant already has a lot of it because it's inherent lifesteal. But if you end up getting the lifesteal in the skill tree, that's basically two times the chances of healing yourself out of damage. Now you'll see that I, you know, I did end up like dying. That's why my little phantom ended up spawning, which does happen in some of the areas that the enemies hit you really, really hard. And on top of that, Spirit Spears is going to end up constantly draining a percentage of our health. So it does add up and that's probably why I lost my health. But anyways, I totally think that you can main the character if you want to. There are other characters that are going to handle specific categories better than the Revenant, but rest assured, you can main this character and be absolutely fine. The only problem is that you're not really going to end up using the right click. It's kind of a useless ability. Anyways, thanks for watching. Smash like stuff for more. Buy the merch if you want to support the channel, and have a wonderful day, everybody.